Closing the gap. That was the message and what Indiana State ultimately wanted to prove a week ago against you and I. Was there improvement for the Sycamores? There's no doubt there was, but at the end of the day, it still was a 33 nothing loss. We, we lost. I, I can tell you this. There was a difference a year ago to right now. There was a big difference in that game. Okay, And, and it's, it's, believe me, as a coach and calling plays and talking with the coaches on the sideline and Kurt and communication, we're able to coach and we're able to systematically okay, we're going to this, we're going to this, here's how we're setting this up. So there's a lot more to that. A year ago, we were trying to coach through effort and trying to coach through continuing to play. There was none of that. So, yes, there's a huge difference. It's not sugarcoating it. It's a progression. The game went on, I think we just got sloppy. I mean, that's what it's like. You know, when you, you, you felt it as the game went on. You know, you started to miss some tackles. You started to have, you know, you saw some bad angles to the ball. Um, you started seeing guys, you know, struggling to get lined up a couple times, and it was mental fatigue. I mean, and, and when that came around, uh, like you said, we just got sloppy. I mean, that, that's to me what it was. I don't think that, you know, they, there was nothing going on in the first half that wasn't going on in the second half in terms of schematics from on either side of the ball. Um, and, and, and we just have to, again, it all just goes back to us understanding to control what you can control. Indiana State was able to move the football against the Panthers, but unable to accomplish the most important of all tasks. That's earned touchdowns. My frustration coming off the field was that we didn't score because we moved the ball well enough to score and put points up on the board. You know, and that, that was my biggest frustration. You know, Coach talks about now coming together. Well, coming together now is being able to consistently against a quality defense put points up on the board. We had legitimate ball movement throughout, okay, and that's one of the things that was my frustration, and that's what I told the team, you know, and I, I take that on me. That's on me. Okay, but now we got to come together to put the points up on the board consistently to win that game. As for the challenge this weekend, it's going to be a steep one in trying to slow down the South Dakota State Jackrabbits led by one of the best, if not the best, quarterback at the FCS level in Taron Christian. He's got unlimited weapons. He's got unlimited command. He's got an unlimited skill set. I mean, he, he's you can see that, you know, he's played a lot of football, and he's played a lot of football in that scheme. And he's very comfortable. He, he, he goes through his progression very well, knows his reads, delivers the ball on time. I mean, he's uh, – if there's a if there's a better quarterback at this level, I'd like to see him. You know, I mean, I, I really do feel like that's how much respect we had for him. And, and uh, you know, and like I said, it just it's another set of, of challenges and another great set of opportunities to be able to go out and, and play against great competition and, and uh, not necessarily see where you stack up. I don't think you look at it that way. I think you look at it like, hey, we're going to go out there and, and, and we're going to compete. And we're going to play hard and control what we can control. And, and we know that, you know, they're going to make some plays. We're going to make some plays. And it's always got to be about the next one. As for what it will take in order for the Sycamores to get back to the success they had offensively the first couple of weeks, it's going to be determined easily in the eyes of offensive coordinator Jeff Eklinski. No knock on wood until the end of the fourth quarter, you know, we get a ball tipped. Uh, so we've been good at that, but we got to continue to take care of the football. And then, and then we got to convert third and medium, third and short. That's going to be the key. Third, medium, third and short is going to be the key. You know, we were 1 of 14 last week. Obviously, that you're not going to win any games doing that. Okay, but if we convert 95% of our third and third and five or less, okay, we're six of 14. Now you're in a position to win a game. Now you're in a position to score points. Now you're in a position to finish, and that's what we got to do. For more on Indiana State football's matchup with South Dakota State, stay right here at GoSycamores.com. Here we go. Set. Hit. Come on, Kay. Go.